Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are talking about how we can set up Wi-Fi connection on Open Media Vault 4 and I'm using Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And before starting this video, I would like to thank all my subscribers who subscribe to my channel. So let's do it. Here I'm using a fresh copy of Open Media Watch to show you. So first of all, let's go ahead and open a wireless network watcher to check the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. And the IP address is 73 right here. So let's go ahead and open the 73 IP address. 192.168.1.73 and uh, let's go ahead and open it now I'm logged in to my open media vault now let's take you to the network section and uh, check in the interface that we are only connected with the LAN connection only one network is here that is connected through DHCP now what we need to do is first of all we need to enable the SSH permit root login so we can access our open media wall through putty so let's go ahead and open putty and type the IP address 73 and login with root now to check what all connections are available for us on open media world 4 what we can do is just type nmtui connect and here you can see only a wired connection is available so let's just go back from here and we can also check by if config that we have only one connection here and the loop back adapter only the LAN adapter and the loop back adapter are here let's just check IW config as well and as you can see no wireless extension no wireless extension so to resolve this issue what we need to do is first of all let's just update our open media vault so you can just type apt update and once the update finished then we'll go ahead and do upgrade it will take a moment because my system is already up to date so it's done we can just go ahead and type apt list upgradable let's just follow the instructions given to us by the operating system itself and let's type up apt upgrade and it's done now we need to update the firmware of our raspberry pi to do that the first command that we need to use is uh, we need to install the rpi update in our system and it will take a moment so the RPI update is installed on our machine now we need to do a apt upgrade and update to check whether we have any other packages to update let's just click yes why and as you can see it start downloading the firmware for BRCM80211 it will take a moment that is the Wi-Fi card in our system so let's just check whether it's able to download the package or not so the firmware is successfully downloaded here now let's just update the system as well so the system is also updated successfully let's just try to type the command nmtui connect to check whether the wireless is up or not so it's still not up now we need to upgrade the firmware of our raspberry pi using the update command rpi update command and here is the command now it will take some time to totally upgrade your firmware and it will take around approximately around 15 to 20 minutes so it's an automatic process you don't need to do anything here it will automatically download the firmware as you can see raspberry pi firmware updater by hexis 
so just wait and watch it will download the drivers and everything automatically so I'll be back once it's done now the new firmware is installed as you can see a reboot is needed to activate the new firmware so let's just reboot the system and it's okay and once the system reboot we need to just download the new Wi-Fi drivers for Raspberry Pi 3B plus now the open media vault is rebooted let's just right click here and restart session and type root as a username and the password once it's done now we need to download the new drivers for our Wi-Fi let's just do that it will also take a moment to download these drivers then we will install them so it's done let's just install these drivers and it's almost done let's just try an MTUI connect and as you can see we have all the drivers available now and the Wi-Fi is up and running let's just connect to my network type the password and it's trying to connect now so it's connected let's just check with the help of wireless network watcher that we have the IP address changed or not so it's uh, right here 91 is the IP address the new IP address as you can see Raspberry Pi foundation let me just move it side by side so let me go ahead and open Google Chrome and show you that I'm able to log in with the 91 address or not So the control panel is right here and the 73 is also up. Let's just show you that as well. So both the IPs are working absolutely fine. Let me just unplug the LAN cable to show you that the wireless is working or not. So my LAN cable is unplugged. So I am not able to access my open media vault console through 73 and the 91 is still working. Let's just try to access through 91 and I'm logged in here and let's go to the network interface and now we can add the Wi-Fi network from here and the device is available WLAN we can type the SSID and everything from here but that's not necessary so it's connected now and as you can see I'm not able to connect through 73 let's just plug in the cable back again to check whether we are able to access it or not so the cable is plugged in again and let's just refresh the page and we are able to access the console from 73 as well and the 91 is also working that means we are connected through the Wi-Fi to our open media vault so guys that's it for today if you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day